Hello everybody, my name is Ryan. I am going to show you how to weather. This is my first video, so I have no idea how to do all this yet, but I hope you enjoy it. So stick around, I'll show you what's up. Here's an example of uh, a weathered Jeep 38-2 real light weathering. Here's the 40 dash too, there's not much difference besides like fan. Uh, one thing I did add, which they didn't have on my model, was the airline with uh, um, the horn right here. The horn used to be right on top of this bell. As you can see, I utilized the hole and used the airline. I put the airline on there. It's a piece of copper wire. This is an Iowata Eclipse airbrush. Works really good. Just getting used, getting used to it. Uh, takes a little while. I always have a little paper towel here. I'll show you. Yeah, paper towel roll right down here that I use and uh, before I start every time I just spray a little bit and see how much I'm given and if it's clogged or whatever. Like I said I'm going to start with this and uh, I've made myself a little paper jig to a shield and it slips right in by the trucks. Works really good. It's made out of a paper plate. I cut it out with my X-Acto knife and it slips right up in there. Covers up the wheels so I can airbrush the trucks and then when I'm done I just uh, lip it out yeah. Here, I'll show you I'll do a little airbrush quick I go like this, I go wham real light get a little up on the body just a little bit As you can see, it's better than it was. I put that in right by the wheels there. I'm going to do a little more airbrushing. So, take my brush and just go a little at a time. As you can see, as I'm brushing, I'm pushing down, applying air, just air, which works good for drying too. You can dry it. See? Oh man, it looks great. Then, now as I airbrush, I push down and then I pull back ever so gently to apply the paint. And I try to get up inside the, the well. And I just apply some on the body. Get some on the stairs. Remember, the dirt gets on the stairs too. I call it uh, railroad dust. Get some on the fuel tank. Gets blasted from the front. I just brush it ever so gently. And I just go with the air. I just push down and I try to dry it. As you can see, I got my little air compressor over there all surrounded. <laughs> oh well. It's just a little tank. I should probably put a bigger tank on it. So now, see my little holder I made too? Wham! Look at that. Oh, buddy.
free. By the way, free. Okay. Now I'm gonna hit the underside. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. I'm gonna do this end. Just a little more. There. Brown that up. I'm gonna set you down here. What we're gonna do now that I got it airbrushed is I have a picture. Do not buy. Do not buy this for flat for um, your dull coat. This is Rust-Oleum Matte Clear. Yeah, um, it bonds good, but it doesn't. It leaves really bad uh, orange peel look. Big blotches. Yeah. It gives a shine to it. I messed up one of mine. And I'm still trying to cover it up with the dull coat. This is what I use. Good old Big Al Mayo. Um, Krylon Clear, and then it's a flat. Make sure you get the flat clear. It works really good. Um, I, d I put a coat of it on here. You just you just lightly ch -ch -ch from like from like way out here. Ch -ch -ch. You don't want to go way up hard on it. You just give it a mess just to seal everything in. So when you grab the, your product or your your locomotive, it doesn't leave smudges and stuff. So um, now I'm gonna do the other side. Um, it's, hopefully it'll turn out really nice. So if not, you know, the biggest thing is too is if it doesn't turn out nice, I use um, watercolor or water-based colors. Um, they're acrylics or whatever. And you could just wash them off. And with that airbrush, it just goes on so fine, it's like a dust almost. And if you don't like it, no big deal. Get out the old, you know, paper towel and water and wash it off. Um, but remember, once you do seal it in with that that uh, flat paint, that you can, it, it's pretty hard to get that back out. Um, I have no idea. I'm sure other modelers would know how to, you'd have to soak it in or wash it back down with thinner or something. Um, I haven't gotten, to, I haven't had to do that yet. So that's because I just do it in small stages, small steps, you know, uh, just take it easy. It's a lot of fun though. Uh, don't be intimidated. Nothing, not too many things are irreversible. And if you mess it up, you can strip it all down and go brand new, fresh paint if you really want to. Now here's the side I'm starting on now. I did a little road grime on the bottom. Um, see, this is from my fingerprints. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to blend that in or wipe it off completely and just do another layer right over it. So it doesn't look like I have fingerprints, but yeah, you know, this panel back here, for whatever reason, on these lo on these models, gets completely rusted. I have no idea why. It must be. It must get hot, and it and it bakes the paint or something back there, and it just rusts. Get the rusted back panel. I covered it back up, did a bunch of blacking to bring out the lines. Um, I used a black paint and then I just washed it down. I put them in bottles like Big Al Mayo. <laughs> then you just shake them up see how that streaks down nicely. Anyways, <clears throat> I put it in a little cap like this. And I just take my Q-tip and I load it up and then I just splotch it on there. So fills in the lines and then you wash it for a while you keep moving it working it around dry and letting it dry then it looks like some serious weathering it's 
some serious sun beating down on it. And there's little rust spots on here. I don't do it as good as my buddy. He's a specialist with rust, so. Anyways, and then I covered it back over with my my uh, duller, my dull color. I've been using this brown. Um, let's see if I can open this for you. It's like my perf it's like the perfect brown. It almost looks it kinda looks a little greenish, but <clears throat> it's like the perfect ground brown for road grime and, and the dust and cover and it seems to to fade things down really good. Thanks for watching. I hope I can continue to educate and help as I'm learning at my same at the same rate and uh you know it's it's a lot of fun. I love to model and I love to uh learn as I go. I'm really happy the way this turned out. Now I'm just going <clears> to <throat> throw a blast of this on there and uh, that will seal it all in so my fingerprints won't take it away in that. Uh, you still got to be careful with it. it. You know with your oils on your hands or if you hold it too long in one spot you'll still get a fingerprint with that stuff and the other stuff. So uh, just got to be careful with that. It's always being careful with your models so you don't mess them up. Uh, but I'm learning, and I hope you're learning, and, uh, you know, if you guys have any feedback, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm out.